Hey, Mindy here. Today, we are checking out MSI's new MPG Trident AS12 Gaming PC. Thank you, MSI, for sponsoring this video. Disclaimer, MSI did send this out to me, but this entire video is based on my research, my experience, and my thoughts about this machine. Let's get to unboxing this. What is this? Oh, 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 wait! Free gift? Is this like a part of the package? I'm betting this is the PC, it's wrapped in this. Wait, we have something else here. We have this. Do we have anything else? Yes, we have another box. Let's just do one check. Okay, nothing else. Well, I did not expect the box to contain all these things. This PC is smaller than I thought. This is the first time I've seen such a small PC, okay? Oh! Oh my god, this is so light! This is only 7 kg according to the specs. Wow, okay. Ooh. I actually cannot believe it. It's like, it's so short and like so small. I can like grab it with my entire arm without feeling like any stretch. I'm gonna show you comparison. This is my phone. One, two, three, four. It's like the length of four of my iPhone. So it's just. Wow, this is really small. I'm just gonna leave it here for you guys to admire um, while we check out the other stuff. <gasps> Ooh. This is a Vigor GK30 gaming keyboard. It's RGB and it's water repellent. Oh my god, wow. It has a lot of key travel definitely, but it doesn't feel or sound as nice as a mechanical switch. But I'm curious to see if we can pull this out. I don't want to destroy it. Should I? change the keycaps as well. Oh, and I can see a stabilizer underneath the spacebar. That's pretty cool. This is smaller than a full-size keyboard. Just, just, I mind blown. But let's check out the other stuff. Oh, wait, what? We have another free gift. So this mouse is the Clutch GM30. We have some cables, screws, and the power cord itself. This is the tempered glass. Oh, this is going to be cool. I think you can actually remove one of these sides and install the tempered glass over it so that you can actually see through and see the insides of this PC. Let's, let's do it now. So according to this, I think we have to screw out the two screws on the left. <gasps> there we go. Oof. Oh my gosh, it was so easy to take the panels out. This is the cable management. Wow, really well done. And we have the fan here. It should be an RGB fan with MSI logo here. Pretty cool. And this is the power supply. We have it at 750 watts. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So this is where you can upgrade your PC to increase storage and they just go here and these SATA connections would actually connect to your hard drives and then there will be another cable that goes into the board here. So yeah, that's if you want to upgrade the storage. If you want to upgrade the RAM, it's, it's just under the fan so you just have to unscrew it, take it out and you can easily upgrade that. And it's cool that MSI makes it easy to access these parts so that you can upgrade if you want to. On to the other side, you can also easily just slide this out and access the stuff inside. This right here is our super powerful GPU. It's the RTX 3070, one of the latest, fastest one on the market. Right here, you can install the M2 SSD to increase storage space. And now we're installing the tempered glass case. And we have these screws from the box. And now we slide this in like this. That's all? That's it? Ta-da! We are done! And this opens up like that and you can access everything inside and now this closed securely via magnet like that. I just can't get over how small this is. It's 10 liters in volume and 7 kg in weight. This is made to be portable and I feel like we can actually store this in a luggage and just transport this around. Let's do it. would easily fit. Oh, it fits. And I think we still have like some space to put like towels or clothes to protect this from um, getting hurt by impacts. This 
It's so cool. Can you believe that my PC can be transported like that? How cool is this? So it's all set up here, but the real question is, can you spot it? So yeah, that's my point. This PC is so tiny. It's flush with my entire setup and it's even thinner than my PS5 controller and saves me so much desk space. I legitly just leave it at this corner and I have the rest of the desk to do my own work. I connected the Trident to the beautiful, majestic, powerful beast of monitor, the 32 inch 4K MSI monitor that we unboxed previously. And because all these are from MSI, I can easily customize the colors on them on the MSI Center app. I can change the colors from rainbows to breathing to all sorts of patterns and colors. But I'm just sticking with rainbow for now. We have ports in the front here for easy access. We have two USB-A and one USB-C port. Currently, I'm using one for my wireless mouse. And we also have a mic jack and a headphone jack. And we have more at the back. Currently, I'm using the DP 1.4 port to connect to the monitor so we can test out some games on the 4K 120Hz screen, which you probably don't need, but it's really nice to have. And I have to say, aesthetic-wise, this is a pretty sick-looking setup. To have such a small size gaming PC, it really saves me a lot of desk space, less clutter, so much neater. But my friends, do not be fooled by the small form factor of this. It does not in any way compromise the gaming on this PC. But first, let's talk specs. Inside this, we have a full-size desktop graphics card, the RTX 3070, along with Intel's latest 12th gen Elder Lake Core i7 processor powering this PC. Next, gaming on this, the Trader handles games like a pro and sometimes when I look at the frame rates while I'm gaming, I'm just like, is this even real? I managed to get my frame rates above 120 for my favorite FPS games. And the best thing is the Trident handled it at 1440p medium to ultra settings. I mean, 100 FPS on Valhalla? At first, my worry for a small, thin gaming PC like the Trident is that is there enough air ventilation? How is the airflow? Are the fans strong enough to keep this PC cool while I'm gaming? Well, none of that was a concern for the Trident. The highest temperature reach was 83 degrees, and even when I pushed this to play 4K AAA games like Valhalla on high refresh rate, we got 70 degrees, and that's actually pretty pretty good and the fans were not loud at all at about 55 db in fact the fan was never too loud and they sound like this my point is even though this pc has a small form factor you don't have to worry about overheating or super loud fan noises the trident manages all of that very well so yeah, I'm really impressed. I kind of expected the RTX 3070 to handle games well, but for it to be in this form factor and not to worry about overheating or loud fan noises, good job MSI. And while we're talking about their insanely smart engineering, you guys saw that this houses a full-size 750 watts PSU, right? But did you know that this doesn't require an external power adapter? It doesn't need that typical heavy boxy power adapter so it's super portable and i don't need to think about cable management one more thing my friends the nahimic 3 app i hope i pronounced it right this is the app that allows you to listen to surround sound on your headphones while you're gaming and god it is good it sounds so realistic i mean you guys know how crazy i am about spatial audio on the airpods and to have it while i'm gaming i never noticed how useful headphones were until now <laughs> like i can literally hear which directions the footsteps are coming from left right front or the back while i'm playing overwatch and that's so important so that i can run away from my enemies <laughs> Or, you know, maybe chase after them and win the game. Victory! With this app, you can personalize surround sound and choose which one fits your ears the best. There's also different profiles for listening to music, watching movies, communications, gaming, or you can just turn on smart profile. And you can even connect up to two headphones to listen to the same audio on the computer. I love this app. I love the surround sound it brings. I don't think I can survive without surround sound in games anymore. I, I need it. I don't really have any complaints about this PC. 
Except maybe I don't know if I installed the tempered glass correctly because it comes off really easily. So I don't know what I did wrong, but I mean, it worked. <laughs> If you're transporting this PC, say in the luggage, I would worry about the tempered glass. I will suggest using the metal panel instead to avoid breaking. Another thing is that there's still this little gap here where it closes magnetically. It doesn't really bother me, just an FYI. Now, pressing. For this bag, it adds up to 3399 and comes with two years warranty. And this PC would definitely be able to handle work and a lot of heavy gaming. If you're looking to get this Trident and you're sort of on a budget, I would definitely recommend this spec because in future, if you need more RAM or more space, you can easily upgrade it by yourself. You don't have to do it now. Now, yes, you might be able to build your own PC for less money than that. And I'm all for that. Go for it if that's what you want. But if you want something that's already done for you, built for you, plug and play, ready to go, no need for you to do that intense research on the motherboard, the chassis, the GPU, the fans, the cable management, you don't have time for all of that, well, I'd say this is a pretty good choice. Or I may have my eyes on the new Trident X that is built with DDR5 memory with RAM up to 64 gigs. If you like what you see, links are in the description box below. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this or learned something new. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And thank you for helping the channel grow. Take care, stay maintained, Cherry. Bye!